Hello， 大家好。本期我们来聊一聊加长霸放到球桌上这件事儿。在二零二一年的中式八球比赛中，发生了让人震惊的一幕，同时也引起了很大争议。下面我们先来回顾下事件当时发生了什么情况。同时，本期冯冯为大家准备了三个不同的案例。我们可以通过案例来对比出中式八球以及斯诺克的一些区别。这是二零二一年中式台球大师赛，杨帆对阵于海涛。此时，杨帆暂时二比四落后。杨帆把加长霸放在球桌上击球，裁判此时并没有提醒杨帆将加长霸拿走。在击球完毕后，虽然加长霸没有碰到任何球，但裁判还是对杨帆判罚了犯规。显然，杨帆对于这样判罚并不满意。与裁判员交涉过程中，用球杆破坏本桌球局，收拾球杆准备离场。从杨帆的言语中看得出，他似乎并不太清楚这样的规则。不过，既然裁判长出面解释，那说明规则是没问题的。当时这件事情引发了众多争议，争议的内容不是规则，而是裁判。部分球迷认为，既然规则不允许，裁判应该在杨帆击球之前提醒一下；而另外一部分球迷则认为，裁判没有这样的义务去提醒球员，并且这样的提醒对于另外一位球员也是不公平的。那么，大家认为裁判是否应该提醒杨帆呢？欢迎在评论区给出你的答案。这是什么规矩？什么规矩？当时球杆在台面上，击球的时候放在其他毛巾在台面上，这是犯规的。你不懂是你不懂的问题，知道吗？你不懂就把人打成什么？我没有，不能跟其他的，真没有打。哪有人说你在打？这个这个人经常犯规，没有，你放在台面上打，就是就是犯规。你放你放其他东西在台面上，你在进球的时候就是犯规。你要是放在最上面，都是犯规，但是你放在台面上。虽然在裁判长出面做了解释，但最后杨帆还是选择了弃赛，并在离开的时候还顺便把隔壁桌的白球也给扔了。这小脾气是挺大的。最终经过调解，杨帆这个事件还是得到了圆满解决。下面我们来看一下斯诺克赛场上如果出现类似的情况会怎么办。这是二零一一年的斯诺克世锦赛半决赛，威廉姆斯对阵希金斯。威廉姆斯一杆远台打进。
但是白球并没有走到合适的位置。我们看到老马直接把加长把放到一旁。还差点碰到黄球，造成了犯规。这一幕也是逗笑了现场的球迷。随后，威廉姆斯把加长把放在球桌上，完成了一杆接球防守。因为加长把并没有碰到球，所以裁判也没有判罚。威廉姆斯这杆贴球防守还是让希金斯吃到了不少苦头。我们先来看看巫师这杆解球。It would have definitely hit the yellow, wouldn't it? Another couple of rolls. Oh, and the miss. Mark Williams four. It's a long way short. Oh, and the miss. Mark Williams four. Well, there's been quite a few of those in this tournament, Ken, where players have misjudged the. Oh, I presume it's off the same roll, but as I said, <laughs> challenge is hit. 连续解球失败，希金斯脾气上来了，干脆来了杆打一出奇迹。下面我们再来看一下第三个案例。案例中的主角同样也是威廉姆斯。That wasn't Stephen's fault. Stephen Hendry. That was a horrible contact, a bad kick. But the only good news for Stephen is it threw the white off line. And just watch this. Look at that. Jumped off the spot, but it's perfectly safe. Very annoying when that happens. 亨德利黑球没有打进，并且还形成了贴球，这杆给威廉姆斯造成了一个不小的麻烦。我们来看看马叔会怎么办。He was pretty impressive early on in this match, Dennis, when he led 4-1. I thought he was really good in amongst the balls. Still not quite as prolific with his long play as he used to be, but he looked quite comfortable in amongst them. But he just lost his way at 4-2 yesterday. Mr. Silly read in the centre pocket that he knew himself he should have made, and it sort of changed the game round again. So he's got to reimpose himself this evening. Well, this is awkward. Gonna need the spider, I think. And there'll be a, a spectator watching here this evening who normally comes up, uh, John. William Moss chose the high gun, so he put the high gun on the table. Sponsored Mark Davis won't be here this year. He's in hospital, Mick, and he'll be watching. And he's pretty poorly, but keep your chin up and keep battling away, Mick. And we'll see you soon. Watch that. Pick that up. 这时，白球防守的时候碰到了加长把，改变了线路。诺克的裁判同样没有提醒，而当加长把改变了白球线路时，裁判随即做出了犯规处罚。And he's got to go back into bat. I've never seen that before in my life. 显然，在斯诺克与中式八球的规则中，还是有一些细微的区别。好了，本期视频就到这里。我是看台球的红凤，各位小伙伴记得点赞关注哦。